azimuth of sunset on the equinox using a cardinal azimuth tool. My informal results, September 22nd, 2017 from Norristown, Pennsylvania. So I've got a problem. Well, I've got a number of problems, but one of them is that in many places of the world, you've got nice north, south, east, west streets, except for uh, the place that I live, uh, lots and lots of uh, straight streets, lots of diagonal streets, but uh, not a single street that goes uh, due east west. It makes it very difficult to photograph uh, the equinox uh, rising and setting sun. And my other problem is that I am not a big fan of uh, compasses. Uh, I mean, compasses for a broad, you know, if you want to just know broad directions, but not, not something like, say, to the nearest degree. Uh, it always seems that when I'm holding a compass and I turn around, it, the compass needle, if I, if I turn 30 degrees, the compass needle turns 29. It just, it never seems to, to be, you know, really accurate. So I just, I really just don't like them. Uh, so I came up with a solution, which was to measure the, the line, the, I'm going to call that a landmark line, of something in the real world. Um, and then measure the angle with regards to the cardinal directions, north, south, east, west. And then I'll build a frame that incorporates that angle, uh, plus the four cardinal directions, add a scale and a pointer, and I'll have a measuring tool called the Cardinal Azimuth Tool. So uh, it only cost me about $5 because I bought five yardsticks. Um, I had some woodworking tools, um, I had some, some hardware, and a, a really old tripod from 1986. Um, so basically you start off with a, a north-south yardstick and an east-west yardstick. We're gonna call that a Cardinal Cross, and then I need to drill a couple holes very precisely um, and that's going to be my landmark segment. That's what's going to line up to something in the real world. Uh, I add a scale and then I'll add a pointer uh, and then I can point to something in, in, the, in the real world and then, and then read off the scale. Uh, I drill a hole in the pointer to, to sight through onto the, the scale. So the, to use it, you just basically have to kind of balance this thing on a tripod and it's kind of cumbersome because the, the center of mass of this thing is not right in the middle. Uh, the center of mass is actually kind of in the middle of the empty space where the triangle is. Um, so I just used some rubber bands to do that. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to kind of uh, put it over your diagonal segment, whatever that diagonal segment is. Now this is looking straight down. Um, you want to line up that landmark line with the actual line in the real world. And then the cardinal cross, the north, south, east, west yardsticks, should point exactly north, south, east, and west. And so, uh, so the way you do it, once you get your, your thing all set up, then you're going to you know, point to something, like for example the sun, and then you, uh, you take a reading through that little hole. All right. So my location, um, it's uh, on a slight hill, I guess they might call it Sandy Hill. Uh, there's just tons of trees and lots of interesting landscapes, so I really don't have a, a really good sight on the horizon. It looked like just about any place I could see the setting sun was obscured by trees, so I, I kind of found this little this little corner, um, it's not a corner, it's this little bend in the road, but specifically there was this concrete uh, curb, it was around a, uh, a sign, and so I'm gonna measure, measure that line, because that's what I'm gonna be sticking my tripod over. So here's my east-west line, I'm gonna call that concrete line the landmark line, and when I drew a line, I measured to be uh, 22 degrees. So what I need to do is I need to determine how to drill my holes to to incorporate this 22 degree angle. Um, so the first thing I established was that um, the the east-west hole there, you know, the, the hole in the west direction would be 16 inches from the center. So that was just an arbitrary number. I just picked that. You know, the the yardstick was 18 inches long from the center, so I, I didn't want to get too close to the end. So I just pick 16 inches. And then it's just a matter of using a little bit of trig, use tangent, and I get that the north-south uh, distance would be six and, six and seven sixteenths inches, and that the, uh, the landmark uh, length would need to be 17 and one fourth uh, inches. Uh, and then so I just drilled all my holes, put pins through them, uh, and then it was just a matter of adding a, a pointer. So how did this thing look in the real world? Let me straighten out the pointer, and, uh, and that's, that's kind of how it looked. All right, so I was pretty pleased with how, how it came out from, from the design to the execution. So here's me standing. This is, uh, I'm aligning the landmark segment, that's the bottom segment, with that concrete uh, curb. I'm actually facing south in, in this picture. North is behind me. 
uh, and west is to my right. So now this is sort of a reverse angle. I'm now sort of facing north, uh, sort of facing northwest. So the first thing I want to do is to align my pointer, uh, point it towards the sun, and then take a reading by looking through the, uh, the hole at the scale. Um, so I had, I tried to take a picture, but uh, the, the, sun w the setting sun was so bright, uh, it kind of overwhelmed the camera. Um, but hopefully you can see that, that I, was, I was lining up these nails that I had driven into the ends of the, uh, of the pointer tool, but I, it's not exactly due east-west. I was a little bit north, a little bit north of due west. All right, so I, I photographed what the scale was, and here I'm gonna go a little bit ridiculous, uh, zooming in just to kind of get an estimate as to what my actual reading was. So if I zoom in, you see that it's just shy of 272 degrees, but that's not good enough because I, yeah, I, I really just want a little bit more accuracy, but I'm gonna be a bit silly because this is not a precision instrument. I'm gonna pretend like it is. Uh, so let's zoom in a little bit more, and then let's zoom in a little bit more. And then let's draw some lines. Um, and then let's actually figure out 271 and, and how much. So I think it's 271 uh, and uh, 7 tenths, 271.7 uh, is what I'm gonna go with. So the estimate from uh, SunCalc was 270.64. And I think uh, time and date rounded that to 271. And then the reading that I got was 271.7. So I was, I was pretty pleased with my, my first go round with the Cardinal Azimuth tool. A little spark of kindness can put a colossal burst of sunshine into someone's day. Thank you.